Well, our business correspondent Joe Lynham is with me now. So, Joe, it's a pretty wide-ranging interview, but he did speak about uh, those uh, controversial bonuses, but it was a fairly contradictory response, wasn't it? Yeah, on the one hand, he was saying, uh, in relation to uh, Royal Bank of Scotland and Lloyds Banking Group, these are the, the banks in which the government has quite a sub substantial shareholding, i.e. taxpayers, uh, that they are in charge... But on the other hand, he's saying we won't micromanage these banks. In other words, he's saying we have the power to do whatever we want, but we're not going to do anything. Uh, well, what he's, his reasoning for that is very simple. He's saying we want these banks to be strong. We want them to be world beaters so that in a few years' time, when it's economically, or dare I say politically expedient, he can sell them off at a very large profit for the taxpayers. So that's the carrot for the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. The stick, of course, is within the next few weeks, maybe within the next fortnight, we're going to get news of pretty outrageous bonuses being paid in the City of London while the rest of us are suffering from pay freezes or losing our jobs or the inexorable rise in the cost of living. So it sounds as though he's very much trying to prepare the ground for a, perhaps this onslaught. But, but it is interesting, isn't it? As you say, he's already said a, a warning against banker bashing and not to scapegoat. Uh, this doesn't really play well, though, does it? It doesn't really play very well, especially there's a, there's a by-election on very, very soon. So he needs to be very careful what he wants, if he wants the Tories to do well. Of course, he's up against his own coalition partner in that particular by-election. Yeah, he, he, he knows that the public mood against the bankers has not softened in any way. But he needs to remind people that uh, the financial services industry accounts for over 10% of GDP in this country and over 15% in terms of income tax revenue. So it is a huge chunk of this economy. So why kill a goose if it's laying golden eggs? He needs to remind people of that. But at the same time, he's very cognizant of the, back, the fact that these big guys in pinstripes are getting a lot more money while the rest of us are possibly suffering a bit more. I'm sure we'll find out more over the coming weeks. Joe Lynham, our business correspondent. Thank